And then I love the back on this thing. It's just like crisscross in the back. I don't think I've ever talked about it. I actually have plantar fasciitis. I'm kind of interested in this lip stain. It's a glossy lip stain. Hello, beautiful. Come over here. By the way, this box is so nice. Millennial things. You know I'm going to end up keeping it. So we have the Kentucky Butter Cake. I am running so far behind in my morning. I'm trying to eat in like the next two minutes right now. We had a bit of an infestation in the kitchen. So essentially we deep cleaned it. We're still deep cleaning. So that ended up taking up most of my morning. This is the first time I've gone to sit down and eat. And I have Pilates in half an hour. So I need to leave in the next 10 minutes. I'm just trying to get a quick breakfast in right now. Because I need food in my system. But I got in a couple of workout outfits from amazon so i'm gonna unbox them i think i know which one i'm gonna wear you guys have seen me try on the other one i just got in a different color so i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and then we'll change for pilates time to change for the gym but here's what i got from amazon i got another one of these workout rompers the backless one but i got it in this really pretty brick color i feel like this can be so perfect for the fall time but i love this i love the fact that the tummy control area is nice and long it actually reaches your lower belly and stuff and this time i did size down and i got a small because the last time i felt like i just wanted the tummy control section to be a little bit stronger so i got a medium last time and then i went down to the small and hopefully that'll just kind of like cinch me in a little bit more and then this is the new set and i think i'm gonna wear this because i've been wearing a workout romper to the last couple of pilates workouts and i just feel like i want to switch it up but it's from the same brand this is the brand that makes the romper i have no idea how to pronounce that so there you go i always do link it down below but i saw that they have workout sets and i really really am obsessed with the way that the romper fits so i feel like i'm gonna love their workout sets so this one i did get in medium i went true size because it's my first time getting a set i don't know how it's gonna fit so here's the shorts nice little waist control there the quality on this feels so good it has a scrunch butt and everything and then here is the top i am obviously you know gonna take out the pads but that's the top and then i love the back on this thing it's just like crisscross in the back and open so this would be a great top for a back day if i was gonna wear this for the gym but let me go change and we'll see how this fits so here's the set and honestly this may be my new like favorite workout brand from amazon i'm just gonna throw some slides on since i have to wear grippy socks but i love this it fits so nicely feels very very comfortable and then like that back yes i love the open back okay but we got to run out of here because i don't want to be late for the class should, should i not have gone this way oh crap why is there so much traffic unacceptable i had to take my coffee to go because i was rushing poor leo because like we had to deep clean and like we had chemicals all over the floor and stuff and we still do we just needed to make sure he wasn't gonna be like trying to come into the kitchen and stuff. So we kenneled him for like an hour or something, but he was actually fine. He was just chilling in there. I think cause he knew we were home, he wasn't freaking out. But yeah, he was kenneled just you know, to make sure that he didn't step into chemicals, get them on his paws or anything while we were deep cleaning the floor. So, you know, to make up for it, I made sure that he got to go to the park, but I was just like down to the wire timing wise because I have my Pilates class today. So we are rushing and multitasking. Coffee time in the car. Mm. That coffee is delicious though. I guess I'll just do like a low bun. Maybe I shouldn't do a bun. When you have to lay down on the reformer, it's so uncomfortable. If you have like too much going on here, that's why I can't do a claw clip. I would prefer to, but I can. Actually, you know what would be lovely is to be able to do a French braid. And I can usually French braid pretty quick. I both want to hit a red now and also don't want to hit a red. 
but I remember to have a Target gift card so I grabbed that so that I could stop at Target afterwards. I need to get Leo's Omega oil and then also I'm gonna like shop around see if there's anything else that we need and then I also want to get crumble. The crumble selection looks really really good this week so I think I'm gonna order us a little four pack for pickup. French braid is in only took two red lights like I said, I French braid really fast. I always have. Probably not the prettiest French braid I've ever done in my life, but she'll do. Okay, seriously, the Chobani, what is it? Like, their cookies and cream creamer? It's grown on me. At first, I was like, it's okay. It's not anything, like, to write home about. But I've noticed I'm, like, reaching for it more and more. Like, it tasted underwhelming at first. And, like, the more and more I drink it, the more I'm like, this is actually really nice. All right, pulling up here, I've literally got to, like, run in because I am down to the wire right now. So painful we started with legs today and then we did legs throughout and I maxed out on my leg day lifting yesterday like I'm talking 500 pound leg presses 250 pound single leg hip thrusts like I was just going max on everything I didn't even think about the fact that I was gonna be doing Pilates the next day and it was probably gonna involve a good amount of legs and just like from the first movement I felt it and it killed me like all class because I don't think I've ever talked about it I actually have plantar fasciitis which if you don't know what it is it's like a flare-up of like the band in between like your toes to your heel and as far as how chronic it is it's actually kind of mild it only flares up in certain situations but pain wise it is very very painful when it does flare up it doesn't affect like 98% of my life maybe even like 99% of my life like I said it's just a thing that flares up during certain movements and more often than not it tends to flare up when I'm getting used to new exercises like reformer Pilates and what tends to set it off the most is any time where I'm challenging my balance that usually is the trigger so like mat Pilates and stuff it flared up like once in a while when I first started doing it but it wasn't too bad but for reformer Pilates it was pretty bad especially today I think especially because I was more tired so like my feet were compensating a little bit more for the fact that my legs were tired and with what she was doing today she was having us do lunges which is an exercise that does sometimes make it flare up she was having us do lunges on the reformer so I'm balancing doing lunges while I'm also moving the reformer and yeah basically anytime my feet have to compensate to help me balance that usually causes a flare up and I will have to bail on the movement or else I'm gonna fully cramp. So afterwards our instructor came up to me and she's like, hey, I heard the carriage bang a couple times. I just wanna make sure you're okay. And I was like, oh, I forgot to tell you, like I have this. I didn't think about it because I've been weightlifting and doing Muay Thai for the last few years. So it hasn't affected me because my body's used to it. But since this is new, this is flaring up. And she's like, oh my God, I didn't realize you had that. Yeah, definitely. If you need a bail on a movement to stop from cramping, do so and all I have to do usually is take one to two seconds and just shake it out unless it just keeps flaring then usually I just need to take like a quick 30 second break and just like let my feet rest for for a good solid little bit but yeah it was flaring up bad today my feet actually feel really tight right now because of it so I rewarded myself with some crumble I mean I was already planning on going but even more so now this is to make me feel better for the fact that my feet are in pain but again it's not something that's too chronic so I am grateful for that I know that there are people who like they're just so bad that they just wake up in the morning and it's hard for them to walk for like the first few minutes in the morning because it's flaring up so bad for them but like I said for me 98% of the days in my life it's not a factor in the slightest so even though I do have it it definitely could be worse but I'm on my way now to go Target I have a little bit of a drive because it's across town of course but it's like so crazy there's like I guess a storm happening So it's like really cloudy here. It's a little bit gloomy. It was actually raining a little bit this morning. We had like maybe an hour of off and on like light sprinkling. So it's just like so odd that we're having like this random cloudy, slightly rainy day in the middle of summer. We're not an area that typically gets summer storms. So it's very, very odd, but it is nice that it's a little bit cooler today. So Leo will definitely get a good long walk today since I do want to take advantage of the fact that the sun is not like eating down on us right now. Little quickie charge trip. 
Ooh, oh my god, this looks so cute. I don't need this, but I kind of want one. I think I want to try one of these. Oh, have fun. Look at this purple. Look at this one. Yeah. When did Poppy get cherry lime made? Because, yes. Apparently, I'm just walking around collecting lip products. I'm kind of interested in this lip stain. It's a glossy lip stain. Color Spicy Sienna. Yeah. Six bucks, why not? This one smells so good. Definitely gonna grab a bottle because I've been getting really into fragrances lately, so I wanna try it. So I came in here because <laughs> just like I needed stuff for Leo, and so far I've got nothing for Leo. A bunch of stuff for me. <laughs> but now I'm at the pet section. So I went into Target for one specific thing, and of course they didn't have it. I ended up just ordering it on Amazon when I was in line to pay, but We'll do a little Target haul in my Lululemon bag. I've been trying to be better about like reusing bags and stuff. And I love the Lululemon bags for like small trips like this. Not that we shop at Lululemon a ton, but I always love like getting a bag from them because these are like so good to reuse and stuff. But I 100% just got a bunch of like fun things for me. I had a gift card and you know, might as well just, I guess, just use the gift card to get me stuff that I want. Also too, I just realized that this has turned into a car vlog, but we're done with the car after this. But I got two flavors of Poppy that I didn't know they had it's been like a little while since i had poppy but also too like the cans are really nice they're this like frosted metallic almost like it's really pretty but i got a grape one and i love grape soda i love grape anything it's like one of my favorite flavors and then also a cherry limeade i'm a huge cherry limeade fan so i'm gonna refrigerate those when i get home and hopefully have one for dinner and i got two lip products one from nyx one from elf first one is the nyx this is juice gloss and the color strawberry flex this is an electrolyte infused color Color. Very interesting. So, oh my gosh, I thought it was just a squeeze tube, but it actually, it's got a doe foot applicator. But let's try her out. Oh, I like it. It's not too sticky. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like strawberry candy. And then I got the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain and Spicy Sienna. I'll just swatch this on my hand. I don't feel like putting color on my lip right now. I really like the NYX one. It's like... Like I said, it's not too sticky, but it's like thick enough that it feels like it's gonna last for a while. So, yeah, really, really like it. But okay, here's the little elf stain. It's a small product, but whatever. And then, there's the swatch. It's kind of like a reddish color. Not like a bright, deep red, but like a good everyday red, if that makes sense. So, you guys will probably see me wearing that. And then finally, I got myself a new fragrance. This is from Finery. It's the scent Sunphoria. I forgot what the notes are on this, but it smells amazing. And I just worked out, so I'm just gonna douse myself in it. Oh man, that smells so good. It smells like summer. That's why I liked it. It's still summer, you guys. I swear to God. Everyone's trying to cut summer off at the knees right now. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's August. It's time for fall pumpkin season. Let's do fall. And I'm like, no. Give summer her moment. Summer is an amazing season. Summer is the season of adventures. If you are not enjoying your summer all the way through the end of August, you gotta book yourself some field trips. You know, go kayaking, plan a beach day, plan a bonfire, continue to do something summery with the season. I understand you guys are excited for pumpkin everything and fall and stuff. I promise you will have enough time to do that in the allotted fall time. But let summer have her moment. But okay, I'm looking at the notes on this. This was the Finery Symphoria. God, it smells so freaking good. It's like wafting into me because I had the air on. So when I sprayed it, it kind of like went throughout the car. So the scent experience is warmly kissed by the golden sun. And honestly, that is completely true. I feel like I've been warmly kissed by the golden sun. And then the notes on this are Manai Blossom, Orange Flower, and Amberwood. It just smells very warm and inviting. It really just like, it smells like summer. It smells wonderful. So. Anyways, that was my little mini Target haul. Let's go ahead and get home to Leo, and then I need to sweep so that Trevor can finish mopping, and then we will have the cleanest kitchen floors ever. You guys look at Leo. I've been watching him as I've been driving down the street. He doesn't know I'm here yet. He's just been sitting so alert the last few minutes. I was like wondering what he heard, and then I saw someone's like packing stuff up over here, so he's probably hearing them. Hello, beautiful. Come over here. Hi, Tom. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I love you, buddy. I love you so much. Do you know that? 
Mm. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know why you're licking my feet, but thank you. You're a very sweet boy. I've been home for a little bit, just filmed some content and stuff, and I'm about to make myself a salad, but I wanted to show you guys a surprise PR box that came in yesterday. I mean, Longcomb did reach out about like PR mailers and I did sign up for it, but I've done that before with a few other brands. Like Kiehl's always reaches out to me and asks if I want PR mailers and then they never send me anything. So I'm always skeptical if I'm gonna get anything at all, but Longcomb sent me some stuff and I'm really excited for it. I legit gasped when I opened up like the outside box because like I said, I was not expecting to actually get anything from Longcomb. Though I have received a serum from them before, so I shouldn't have been too surprised, but I was just so stoked when I saw the long comb name as soon as I opened the box, which, by the way, this box is so nice. Millennial things, you know I'm gonna end up keeping it, because I don't know why millennials keep all boxes. It's very weird. But they sent me there, and I'm so sorry, I'm gonna butcher this, I already feel it. Energy. I don't know. It's a, it's their peptide cream. It's a anti-aging cream. You guys can see me in the reflection. But yeah, it's an anti-aging, high-performance cream so that would be for like nighttime and stuff so I think I'll swap to that for a little bit to try it out but I'm really really excited about the serum they sent me I've been looking for a new anti-aging serum for the nighttime so I'm really excited about this it says that this is a triple serum so it's got I can barely read right now in the light I'm in but hyaluronic acid niacinamide and ferulic acid something like that yeah and you, I'm sure the information is right here so here's like a before and after from a clinical study using it for four weeks oh, i think this is more for the peptide cream but still but this is like addressing all of the things that i am really trying to address especially lower face sagging so i will for sure switch to this for my night cream because that is something like i said that i just i really want to address so I'm very excited. Thank you, Longcomb, for sending this to me. I am so stoked to try this out. Just took my hair out of my little French braid. I'm like, okay, go off, Miss Waves. These are, like, such cute waves. Why can I never get this when I, like, French braid my hair overnight? It's just, like, way too wavy. I think it's because I wear it for hours sleeping, obviously, and this was just in for a couple of hours, but it's, like, the perfect casual waves. Like, I, I love the way that this turned out. And then just throw a little bit of oil in here perfect waves by the way this is one of my favorite like super quick easy lunch meal hacks i mean you have to go to two different grocery stores for this because trader joe's doesn't have shredded roaches free chicken i guess you could do those like grilled chicken strips if you want i don't personally like those because there's like a ton of sodium in them but this peanut and crispy noodle salad is my favorite salad mix from trader joe's and i'll just pair it with some shredded roaches free chicken and it's just like the perfect fast lunch besides that like crunchy cabbage sesame chicken salad that i made the other day but this one's even faster because it's literally just one in one. So here's what it looks like all tossed together. This is about half of the full bag of salad. I think the last time I made this, I went a little bit small, so this is a little bit over. But I love the salad mix in particular because it can keep for a while. It's been about three days since I had the first half of it, and all of the lettuce and everything in it is still so good. It hasn't wilted or gone bad or anything. I feel like it can last like a week to a week and a half in your fridge, and that's because it has heartier lettuces. It uses cabbage and romaine, and it uses like big romaine chunks. So I feel like that's why the salad just lasts for forever in the fridge. So crazy. We literally just had like a five minute shower. It just like started pouring literally no more than five minutes and then stopped. Just so random. Oh, actually, it's still still raining a little bit. So it's still going. And again, summer storms are so uncommon for us. So that's why I keep commenting on it. If you're like, why is she so fascinated by this? Because like I know a lot of other places get summer storms either regularly or it's just you know common enough that it wouldn't surprise anyone but again here this is not a common thing i'm gonna try the crumble flavors for this week really quick i always wanted to try this pink donut one i'm very intrigued by it oh i didn't even show it to you guys whoops so we have the kentucky butter cake pink donut semi-sweet chocolate chip which i feel like should just be the chocolate chip i love this variation it's so good and then we also have a lemon bar cookie so i'm gonna start with the lemon bar because i think i've had the kentucky butter one before and crumble seriously does lemon cookies so good this is amazing i love how soft it is too i have to throw away the last two weeks crumble boxes dude that lemon bar is so good wow pink donut mm, that's really good it's not too sweet. It's a good like mid-level sweetness and the cookie is so soft. I was off of it for a little bit just because like I felt like the flavors just weren't really calling to me but lately they've been having some good mixes. 
Mm -hmm. For sure, I've had this one before and it's so good. I've never had a real Kentucky butter cake. If it's anything like this cookie, I definitely want to try one sometime. And these flavors are still there when this vlog goes up, so definitely go get them. I'm going to take a huge chunk of the semi-sweet chocolate chip. We already know. I love this. This is actually technically why I got a box, but I'm also going to have a little bit more of the pink donut. We'll call it there for my lunch dessert slash afternoon snack. Just got back from a walk with Leo. It was it was a long one. We went into like the rich rich neighborhood. Since it's cooler today, I wanted to take advantage of that. So we just kind of went exploring, just like down different streets we hadn't been before and stuff. Just meandering, and then we need to find our way back. And I was like, oh my god, I don't recognize any of the street names. We ended up just kind of like wandering till I finally found a street that I recognized, so we could follow it the whole way back. And oh my god, you guys. Uh, just using the serum. How many pumps am I supposed to do of this? Does not say. Maybe two? But oh my god. It ended up being like an hour walk. It was nuts. So I am exhausted because like I had said earlier, I had leg day yesterday. Like and a heavy leg day. A maxed out leg day. I'm just swapping some products in. These are done. But yeah, I maxed out yesterday on leg day. And then obviously... I went to Pilates today and Pilates started out and continued to be kind of leg heavy, so. Oh, I'm so tired. Hi, buddy. I hear you breathing out there. See this here? Buddy, go rest. Go rest, babes. I know, I know. I'm tired too. That's what I was just telling them. Go rest. I don't want to feed him quite yet when he's breathing like that. I'm just infusing my skincare. Using my PMD, I think it's the Wave Pro is what it's called. My body just feels so freaking tired right now. My muscles feel done. My back is tight. I feel everything in my glutes right now. Poor Leo face planted into the concrete today. He wasn't paying attention. I checked him, he didn't skin his nose or anything. I was really scared about that, but he did have like white on his nose because he face planted into the concrete. But honestly, he's like a toddler. Like he just jumped right back up and he was like ready to go again. I was like, okay, well, you're fine. I have to avoid like this area. I don't know what I did, but there's like a rough patch there. I thought it was eczema, but upon further investigation, I don't think it is. So I think something just irritated it. Honestly, I used like a spot treatment right there for the dark spot and I think it irritated my skin. Fusion's done. We're gonna swap to this for a little bit. I don't see how I like this cream. I'm sure it's much more expensive than my CeraVe cream. Oh, that was a lot. That was fine. I'll just put it everywhere. Back with the neck even. And then spread it to my chest. Why not? Oh, also too, for this accidental hour long walk, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this tattoo bomb on Sparts tattoo. But yeah, for this extra long walk that I did, I also had my weighted vest on. So I am very, very tired. My legs feel super, super heavy. And then finally, I'm gonna change this to the lift setting. Lift everything up. I can't remember, I keep wanting to do a face mask and I keep forgetting. Like I'm just so tired after walking Leo that I always forget. The only problem with the lifting side is it like scrapes my moisturizer off. I think let's call it there for skincare. So dinner tonight, ooh, that's hot, is the Trader Joe's green chili chicken bowl. This is like my new favorite frozen quick Trader Joe's dinner. I mean, if you put it in the oven like I did, it's not quick. It takes like 45 minutes, but you could pop it in the microwave. I just think that the oven is better because these parts right here where there's like cheese on the sides, it gets like nice and crisp and just like absolutely delicious. But I love this bowl, cannot recommend it enough. And I always add a little bit of cheese to it. So I'm gonna add some of this cheddar jack. And then I wish I had like some fresh pico de gallo. We don't have any right now, but that is another thing I would definitely recommend adding to this to just like dress it up a little bit. But on its own, it's absolutely perfect. Just mixing it up a little bit i threw the fresh cheese in but oh my god i'm so excited for this but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i feel like i got 
kind of chatty at some points today so I think we're good I think you guys have heard enough of my voice but I did want to let you guys know for my vlog fans next week starting Monday is gonna be a vlog week so if you like vlogs make sure that you're subscribed because a new vlog will be going up every single day from Monday through Friday this is my first time doing vlog week but I am no amateur I've been doing vlogmas for like the last three years so I feel like it's just gonna be like a mini vlogmas and Trevor and I have some fun plans this weekend that I'm gonna be taking you guys along for it so stay tuned